guys, welcome to this video. This is Gabby's birthday video. We did it last year, it was a big hit. And I love it, and I'm hoping to do it for Sophie. I keep forgetting, because her birthday is at a crazy time of year. Last year, we bought a gingerbread train at Sophia's birthday. Well, last year, we asked Gabby a series of questions. She was uh, joined in her video last year with her friend Kaylee, but because, yeah, Kaylee's missing. Our world is shut down right now because of COVID-19 and we're not allowed to see any friends and so she's not here. But who do you have instead as your special guest? Oh, we have Molly. We have Molly. Molly is there. Come on up. So last year on your birthday video, did you have a dog? Did you have a Molly? No, I was going to pick her out that day. Did you know you were going to pick her out that day? No. So last year at this interview time, there was no Molly. She didn't even know that there was going to be a Molly. All she had in her heart was the dream of her own Border Collie one day. And now one year later, she's sitting beside her full grown, raised from a puppy, Border Collie. Okay, so let's just get started. She does not like it when you blow on her. Oh, Gabby, are you ready for your birthday questions? Yes. Okay. I know it'd be funner for you if if Kaylee was here, but I'm sure we can do a good job here. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to ask you, what is your ultimate dream job? YouTube. Do you have a hero, and why are they your hero? Um. No, I don't. I don't have a hero. What's your best memory? I don't know. I've got really lost. <laughs> <laughs> too much pressure. Uh, that was the memory. day you got the puppy, the day you got your first horse, the day you got your second horse, the day we moved to a farm. I don't know. Which one? Pick one to be your best. Dog. Getting your dog was your best memory? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, do you remember a time that you laughed so hard you cried? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're supposed to tell it. Oh. I'm sure Sophia doesn't want me to do it. <laughs> Alright, what is your absolute favorite food? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Uh, do you like to read? And if you do, what is your favorite book? Eh, kind of. But I'm forced to read. So if I was not forced to read, I would choose not reading. Okay, so you are forced to read because you go to school and you're only 14. Oh, we forgot to say, how old are you this year? Um, uh, 14. So she's forced to read because we read in school. So what's your yeah, favorite book? People don't. Um, Everybody reads in school. It's called nightly reading. They make you do it even when you go to school. Only some schools. No, My all favorite schools. favorite book? A Curse So Dark and Lonely, like that series. A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Would you like to be famous? Yes and no. When you're feeling down, what makes you feel better? Music. Duh. Duh. Do you have any bad habits? Biting my nails. Yeah. That's it? There's some more, but I don't know. Uh, what is your favorite oh, song? Oh, biting my thumb. Like, I just bite my fingers, like. What's your favorite song? Bodie Egg Yellow. Bodie. Be. If you could only watch one movie for the rest of your oh. life, what would you watch? One movie for the rest of my life? I don't know. Twilight. I'd watch Twilight. No, that movie sappy. Have I'm you ever watched Cujo? Somebody wanted to know. No. I watched that and I'm not into horror movies. It was scary. Oh. Do you consider yourself a leader or a follower? Kind of both. What characteristics make a good leader? Um, the person who actually knows what they're doing and doesn't get too cocky when they lead and a person that listens to the followers. Hmm, that's good. What is one food you will never eat? Oh, I will never eat wasabi. Wasabi. What makes a good friend? Um, a person that gets you even though nobody else does. What's your favorite sport to play? Horse riding. Or tag. Like hide and seek tag. 
because then you hide and then when the it person tries to find you you run back to the base place uh, and if you reach the base before they can reach you then you win but only if they find you so if you were an animal what would you be and why I would be a dog because horses are kind of dumb and horses have to work harder because they get ridden or some of them pull carts and stuff. What's one thing on your bucket list? To win at Trillium. To win at Trillium. So if you had to describe yourself in three words, what would they be? Crazy. Weird. Mom of the friend group. Um, if you started your own business, what business would you do? I'm not really the mom of the friend group. I'm only kind of. Like, I'm the rest, I'm the less reckless one. <laughs> I love a non-reckless kid. Um, do other people consider you to be talk talkative or quiet? Everybody thinks I'm quiet, but not my family or Kaylee. What is your least favorite chore? Everything. You hate chores? Yeah. Me too. If you could have lunch with anyone in this world, dead or alive, who would it be? Well, then I'd be having lunch with a corpse. Well, which corpse? What corpse? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Who would you, so you would want to have lunch with a dead person? Yeah, because they're quiet. <laughs> they won't talk to me. They'll let me eat. Hi. So if a genie gave you the option of three wishes, what would you wish for? Any of them? Mm -hmm. For me to be, for me to have a great job that makes a lot of money and never get fired from that job. Um, live in a mansion and have whatever I want, like whatever I want. It. But why would you wish for like a job that gives you lots of money instead of just wish for lots of money so then you can pursue all of your, your... Because that lots of money goes out eventually. The job keep, makes you get keep on getting more money. Good point. Yeah. So if you were to have an ice cream sundae with any toppings you wanted, what would you choose? Any toppings I wanted? Um, obviously chocolate and chocolate. No, chocolate and caramel That's what I get on my sundaes. All right, so if somebody gave you a million dollars, what's the very first thing you would buy? The first thing I would buy would be my cars. And then a mansion. And then another dog. How would you describe your personal style? Throws on whatever, mainly comfy clothes like sweaters and sweatpants. If you could go on a two week two week vacation anywhere in the world, where would you go? I don't know. I don't really think things through. Uh, would you want to go on vacation or would Yeah, you... no, I would not. I'm not a vacation person either. I would stay in my house, in my mansion. Favorite dog breed? Favorite dog breed, Border Collie. Favorite horse breed? <laughs> Come on. She just fell off the couch. Come here. Come on up. Come on. Good job. Uh, favorite horse breed? It changes. Probably a Hanoverian Thoroughbred cross, because I like Thoroughbreds. Okay, last one. Where would be your dream place to live? Where would you like to live? Like, would you like to stay in Canada? Like to stay in Ontario? Where would you like to live? Um, I don't know. I think the USA because there's bigger horse shows there and they don't have the luxury tax on anything over 100000 How do you know they don't have it? Because it's only in Canada. Oh, interesting. Isn't it? All right, well, that's Gabby's birthday. You know, it's Canada's new law. I don't think they have it in the USA. Well, here's hoping. I'm hoping. Um, anyway, which state in the U.S.? Um, probably either Kentucky or, like, probably Florida because they have, like, all the big shows. What about California? They have big shows. They have the most big shows, but I doubt it. Thank you, Gabby, so much for your um, answering all your birthday interview questions. And thank you, Miss Molly, the Border Collie, for coming along on this journey and being by her side so she doesn't have to be alone. Oh, we forgot the most important question. Do you have a boyfriend? I do not. 
Are you looking for a boyfriend? Yes and no. I want one, but I'm not looking. Yeah, and in Canada right now, there are no boyfriends. There are no friends. There are no walking off your driveway. You have to stay in your house and not go anywhere. So it'll be a while before the boyfriend thing happens. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in to see how Gabby's answers changed from last year, then, then you can watch her birthday interview from last year. I'll have it linked in the description box. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are Just the way you came Don't you know that you're beautiful Don't you know